and with the Vickies. It's two guns all day, baby. We salute you. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. So it's root, root, root for Lisette Wood. This is her request today. And it's one, two, three strikes her out at the old ball game. All right, y'all, today's request coming in hot from Lisette Wood. And if you can't tell by that intro, we're going to the ballpark today. Hot Dogs is on the sponsored request. First thing we gotta do, get our bacon into the air fryer. Boom, baby, there we have it. Let's get right inside that air fryer. So let's go with 400 for 10 minutes. Fire it up. Okay, mostly pretty easy one. Just a few little prep tasks to execute. We're definitely gonna need some onions on some ballpark doggies, wouldn't you say? Slice, slice. Okay, we're gonna just chop these down into little guys and put them in our new rip and zip slap chop esque dollar store device right here. Start the mower and do your chores. Yo, it's so perfect. It's amazing. It makes the best hot dog onions. I want like nice, just like thin half moons for a dog. I don't want little shredded cubes like that. I just want nice little slim half moons. Probably enough. Maybe one prep snack. Mm. Can't refuse a prep snack. That's it right there though. Of course, you guys know it wouldn't be one of my hot dog videos if I didn't have some shredders. Shredded iceberg lettuce, it's just a requirement for my hot dogs at this point. I love it. You should too. Give her a try. I remember when I first made one of my hot dog videos, somebody in the comments, a bunch of people in the comments were like, the lettuce on a hot dog, what are you talking about, man? And I was like, what aren't you talking about, bro? Well, you gotta go try that and see yourself. Tell me later on you don't know that. All right, time to check on this air fryer bacon. Looking absolutely perfect. I'm gonna stop it right there and let that rest. Okay, so in Lisette's request here, she wanted four hot dogs specifically, and one of them has to be Colony. And I'm in luck because remember that spaghetti bolognese that I made, the leftovers, I froze for a purpose just like this. So we're gonna twist this a little bit and basically make it a coney sauce. I'm just gonna add some mustard to it and a little bit of cinnamon and that should basically get us to a coney sauce because bolognese really does taste pretty much already like coney. Touch of water. Just work this in. Definitely wanna give this guy a light little taste here and just see where we're at. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, so good, so good. All right, now, I personally don't think, in terms of coney sauce, that this is quite blended and thin enough. So you guys know me, I gotta whip out the old stick blender and make it proper. Let's get this thing shredded up into a nice, thin coney sauce. Whip out your stick. Much better. Yeah, but delicious. Baby poop, mm, baby poop. Hey guys, almost there. Get these doggies rolling. Low, low, low flame. Very, very low. Just, just kissing the pan. A little oil into the pan. Get your doggies in and roll them around before it's even hot. Get them coated in your oil. And then I like to let them slowly come up as the pan comes up and keep a tight eye on them. Okay, so here we go, we're on the move. Keep them rolling. Don't let them get too still in one area. Don't want to let them bubble and crisp too hard, but we do want to get color on them and get them nice and warm in the middle, nice and slowly without burning. A nice browned exterior, that's really all I want. 
Okay, getting even closer, one of the last steps. Pre-buttered, toasty buns, let's do it. Okay, so Miss Woods has two hot dog demands. One must be mayo, ketchup, and mustard. So let's set your wish, be thy command. Cats up. Mustard. Hot dog. Top it off. We like them saucy around here. Mayo, ketchup, mustard. She also demands a coney dog. Mustard, the dog. Clothes. Use a bun to keep it in place. Pony sauce. Slathered in. Our perfect onions. And we finish with mustard. And there we have it. Hoodie's Coney Dog. Next up, a channel favorite. We've seen it before and we'll always see it again. The Mac Dog. The Pig Mac, if you will. Just a light saucing. Our cheese. A dog. A bacon. Bring it together a little bit. Use a friend to hold you up. That's what friends are for. Our sauce. Our goop. Our double dip. Big Mac's gotta have a couple shredded onions. Couple pickles. Some shredders. All right, last but not least, a Canadian hoodie favorite. We got mayo. We got ketchup. We got a dog. We got a bacon. Light little clothes. Another ketchup. A little mayo to represent Canada. Our onions, raw, and our dollar store onions, crispy. And that's the Canadian classic right there. That's it, thing of beauty. So here we have it guys, Lisette's two dogs, mustard, mayo, ketchup, standard basic. We've got the Kone, the Pig Mac, and Canadian classic. Let's get to these. What up, what's going on? Back with another banger today. And we have, like you heard, Lisette Woods. And I wore my Woods hat for Lisette. I just saw it and I was like, I gotta put that on. So shout out to Lisette Woods for this one. You guys know what it is at this point. So I just wanna crush. I'm super hungry, I'm ready to smash. But before we do anything more, we must. Pup, 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 pour. And we got our skier sender. And we got full sugar. Doc P in the building, and uh, I am deeply fasted. I haven't eaten in a long, long time, so I'm ready to grub. I don't want to get too deep into any other crazy specifics of stories or anything like that. I just want to have some food enjoyment today, and I want you to too. So here we go. Boom. First up, Lisette's first request, the mayo mustard ketchup, something I don't usually do but I'm down for it for you. And it's nice and soft and a little bit crunchy. Let's get it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, set when you hit me up. I told you that I had been craving hot dogs. So in the list, I've been looking forward to this one. All right, these ones. Delicious combo. Maybe should hit it more often. So I definitely want to make sure I get to all of them so I don't want to eat one at a time the whole way because I don't want to potentially get maybe too full. But next up we got that revamped spag bolognese coney. I think this is going to be super bomb. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 
that's sellable. It's that cinnamon makes it. Like I said, y'all, I'm ravenous today. Oh, yeah. All right, before we move on, quick intermission. Miss Vicky's kettle cooked. Hell of a good French onion dip. An absolute legendary combination. If you've never had a hell of a good mm. it's by far the best chip dip on the market. And with the Vickies. Two guns all day, baby. We salute you. A big shout out to the Dip Lord. Heavens above. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Pig Mac. Why is that? Because we got bacon. And a hot dog. Double the pig. Double the fun. All in one bun. Slogans. <laughs> With flavor explosions. <laughs> Goddamn. That should be criminal. How delicious that is. The combo of a piece of bacon against a hot dog. unbeatable flavor combo. And the full sugar doctor is curing me completely and totally. Okay. Canadian classic. A hoodie favorite. A hoodie creation, by the way, too. Hard to beat this one. Very hard to beat this one. Very hard to beat this one. Crispy onions just belong on a hot dog. The raw onion just adds a great flavor. The bacon and hot dog obviously crack. Sweetness of that ketchup. Heaven sent. Absolutely heaven sent. Refresh the palate with a chip and a dip.
and we go one more bite of each to rank. Okay, I got you. Cleanser. I see you. Mm -hmm. Hello, beautiful. Okay, we have a verdict. I need more pop. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Canadian classic. Something about it, the simplicity, but the crunch element, everything comes together perfect in it. After that, the Coney Dog is slapping. Love it. Next, Pig Mac. It's tough to not want to include this. Like, it, it goes head to head. It's just these ones are doing more for me, and I think that speaks to simplicity. I think there's a lot going on in this hot dog. It is delicious. It's crazy. Like, I would never kick it out of bed for eating crackers, if you know what I mean. But, like, it's just something about the simplicity of these ones. I don't know. It allows you to have a better mouth experience. But this is a great hot dog. And then this one last. Because, I don't know. I just... I've never been a ketchup mustard combiner on hot dogs. It's just never been my thing. I just got like a little one bite bud of every one of these. So I probably ate about three hot dogs in total there, but I'm nice and full, ready to smash this and uh, head on out of here. So <sighs> wow, that's the start of the show maybe though. Lissette, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your set of hot dogs. And uh, if anybody else out there is looking for a video like this, the links are down below in the description. They will be pinned uh, and you can go ahead and contact me if you'd like. If not, that's cool too. So until the next one, you know what to do. You got to eat good, live well, make hot dogs and stay true. Try these out for real. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Just try it. Okay, peace.